Welcome back Rapid Seabox users, it's Matthew here today and we're going over radar. Just like sonar for TV shows, radar is for your movie library to keep things nice and organized and automate the entire process for you and of course, let's dive in. So just like sonar, instead of importing our media library or starting to add media as soon as we start diving in, we need to set up our settings first. It's super important to head to the settings tab and organize your media library the way that you want to have it structured. So head over to the settings. We're just going to show you some of the basic configurations to get you going here. The first thing that you're going to want to do is set up your download client. And for the sake of this tutorial, I've already got Deluge. But for some of you who are new, head to this button right there, the plus button. Pick your preferred Usenet or torrent download client from the menu here. There's a bunch of pre-configured options. So for Deluge, these are your settings for localhost. If, if everything is already on your seed box, this is it. You just type in your password from your client area. But if this is your first time doing this, it's really important for this category section because Deluge needs to have a separate configuration. And since I'm using Deluge here, I'm gonna show you guys how to enable that right now. So for this category section, you're gonna to head to your Deluge torrent client, head up to preferences, go to plugins on the left-hand side, then click and make sure that label has the check mark next to it, click apply and okay head back to radar, test that connection, see we're connected just perfectly fine in less than a second and that's that's ready to go. We've got our first download client pl plugged in, we're, that's pretty neat. Now we can move up to indexers. There's a few pre-configured options here for Usenet and torrents. For Usenet just hit this drop down menu and you have your main configurations there. If you're using Jacket you're going to want to use the Tor ZNAB. Uh, presets for this and there's the jacket right there for that and this is used for torrents but my recommendation to you and we offer both of these as one click installers is to use Prowlar. Now Prowlar and I have a video tutorial on this is really cool it's just like it has the same layout as other ARR programs but the difference is, is this will sync all of your torrent and Usenet indexers to your ARR programs automatically. It's a cool process that you don't have to really be involved in. You set it and forget it and all you need to do is add ARR programs later on if you want to sync more. Head straight to quality settings. Now just like Sonar, I totally recommend that all of you go to trashguides.info. They have, as you can see, everything that you need for all of your ARR setups and more tips, tricks, tutorials, and helpful things. I totally recommend you check that out. Go to quality settings. You set all of your minimum to these minimum settings here. Absolutely 110% set your minimums to these. This will ensure that you're getting the maximum quality possible. Yes, I could agree that setting things for the maximum could also get you the maximum result, but we need to make sure that we're optimizing for the best streaming experience on a seed box possible. So I totally recommend that if you want to use this as a as a guide and set everything at 400, perfectly fine. But what you might want to do, head back over to our indexer tab here and set a maximum size that we feel is optimal for our local network to be able to stream flex and what gives us some of the most comfortable experience. After we've set all of these, we can head up to our profiles. Now, just like Sonar, these profile settings are gonna allow you to set where, what type of download that you want and what you're willing to upgrade to. So for me, for my movies, I prefer 720p just because of space sizes and I'm really happy with the quality. Once I realized what true quality 720p is, we're not gonna dive into that right now. But if we wanted to, we can set these different groups and we can set because I want 720p web, I'm gonna set that all the way to the top here. Now, if we wanted to edit these groups and kind of play around with things a little bit, if we are if we wanted to group all of our 720p's together, we could do that. We don't really need to do that because this is gonna automatically upgrade it, but what I prefer is to have a web rip or a web download, and I'm gonna have that group called web 720p, and this is pre-configured. And what you'll want to do is allow upgrades and see since I want web optimized downloads, I'm going to say upgrade until quality so 720p web. I'm going to hit my save button. See it's in the blue here. So anytime that I import a movie, I always put it on 720p web and that's the quality that it'll get. And if it doesn't get that, it will upgrade until it does. So that's pretty neat that son or Sonar and Radar both will look out for your quality size settings and get you the one that you really want in the end. That's pretty neat. So now that we've got the basic things configured, what I totally suggest doing is going up to your media management, hit that show advanced button. We wanna click Radar will use 
existing name file if, rena if renaming is disabled. We want to enable this. We want Radar to rename our files as they come in. Now, this is where our Trash Guides really becomes a helpful tool for you. This is where we want to head back to Trash Guides. We want to click on Recommended Naming Scheme. Scroll down until you're right underneath this red box. This is our standard movie format. We're going to hit this copy button. We're going to bring this all the way back to standard movie format. Select and paste. Paste that in there and then start moving your way down this list and copy and paste all of these new formats into Radar to have a properly managed library. Click the save button. This goes down a little bit, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're only going to do a few of these. Uh, create missing folders. I like to have enabled. Of course, I want to have, for some of you who want to use Bazaar for subtitles, this can be helpful when some downloads don't include the subtitles. But what if they do? So, well, Sonar and Radar can both import these files. Just make sure that import extra files is checked and enabled. You'll see SRT down there. You can add examples down here for sub info, sub info. We want to click do not prefer and then hit the save changes button. Guys, that is it for the media management and the settings portion of this tutorial. Now it is time for the fun part and that is adding our media library and starting our downloads. Go up to movies and you have a couple of options here. We can either import existing movies or add a new movie. So if you have, an, if you have existing media, you can click existing media, import, find the path on your, on your seed box and start importing that way. If you're coming in and this is brand new and you don't have any media at all and you're ready to get started downloading, you have all of your download clients plugged in, all of your media indexers plugged up, you can hit add new movie, you can search for the movie right here by the title, you can even use the TMBD or IMBD tags and search that way, which is pretty sweet. Now guys, before I sign out of here for the day, I wanted to go over just a couple of the custom things that I have set up for my radar just to kind of give it a little bit more of a homey feel for you guys. If we go down to connect on our settings menu, we hit the connect button, we can connect our Plex Media server and this will enable a few customized notification settings for grabs and automatic upgrades. If we go back to our settings and we click the list button, we click the plus button, one of my favorite things to do here is go down to Plex watch list. Now, for some of you who are already using Plex, you know what a Plex watch list is. You can add things to it pretty easily and Radar will watch that list for you and import all of the things that you want to watch off of that list and request them automatically for you. That is pretty sweet if you ask me. Um, so if you get this plugged up, you'll be able to automate your process even easier. Guys, that's it. Those are your radar settings to get you going and automating your movie downloads on your seed box. If you have any more questions, reach out to our support staff by opening up a chat window from your client area. You can also reach us at support at rapidseedbox.com. And as always, if you like these tutorials, like and subscribe. There's going to be plenty more coming up. Thanks for stopping by, guys. We really appreciate it. Take care. Happy seed boxing.